whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is our predictions for Javante Tank Davis versus Rolando Roly Romero. We're giving our predictions for this fight, and it just hit me why Ned the TBE isn't here because he has a weird obsession with Javante Tank Davis, a weird one. And he understands that Javante Tank Davis is in the fight of his life, the fight of his career. He didn't want to have to face the music here today on the Boxing Bros. Because Spirit G, who you got, Javante Tank Davis or Roley? All right, listen. I got Tank. Now, I got Tank by six-round knockout. Walk me on this. Roley is going to bring it round one. He's going to come out the gate swinging with hard punches. Which is going to be dangerous for Tank, but it's good because after a while, Roley's going to get exhausted and he's going to leave himself open. And we already know Roley has horrible footwork. So all Tank has to do is be patient and disciplined. He's going to see the opening. And I believe around like the fifth round is when Roley's going to be really tired. And he's going to probably take a little steam off by the six. He's out of there. You know what I mean? So I got Tank, knockout. I'm going to say by uppercut. Six round, knockout by uppercut. Boom. All right, G. So the last time we were talking about this, you said that Roley was flat out food. You said that he was a hot pocket Cuban. He was a Cuban hot pocket Cabano. Um, so are we still getting food with this one, G? I want to know. Are we getting food for this fight, G? Let us know, so, Chef G. This is going to be... It's difficult only because if Tank fights emotional, it's going to be a real hard fight for him. Tank just has to box. Just box. Don't let Roley do all these antics, all the stuff that he's been saying, all that. Man, ignore all of that. Because if he fights emotional, then he's going to get violated. But if he sticks to the game plan, Man, we eating Cuban, bro. You know what I'm saying? We going to eat Cuban easy. If my man get emotional, I don't know if he I don't know if he could uh, digest that Cuban food. So, just play it straight, play it by the book, box. All you got to do is box. Roley's the emotional one. Roley's the one that doesn't really know how to box, but he has a lot of power, but he's going to get tired. Come on, you seen you seen his uh public uh trainings and stuff when he was hitting the mitts. This dude's only going for power shots. He don't care about nothing else. Like, <laughs> Roley is letting it be known. That's what he wanted you to see, G. That's what he wanted you to see, G. <laughs> That's the only thing. Come on now, G. Oh, no. That's the only thing he can show. We acting <laughs> like we didn't see his last three fights. It's always the same thing with Roley. It's just power, power, Hold power. On, G. He was I'm young then, G. He's older now, G. God More bless. skilled now, G. God bless. God bless. All I know is this. Roley is good at bullying people in the ring, shoving people in the ring, and he got good he got he got good he got good power shots. But again, Tank is a better boxer. All Tank has to do is utilize his boxing. He'll take him out of there. You know what I mean? He's going to have to weather the storm though. Let's just keep it real. He's going to have to he might have to eat some shots, but as long as he's defensively sound, Roley's going to get tired, and that's when you come in with an uppercut, silence your mans, and it's over. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this. If Roley did win, hey, salute to Roley because you know he's going to make it epic. You know what I mean? And <laughs> he's going to talk gorilla trash. You know how he is, man. This dude calls out everybody and their moms. So I'll be curious to see who he calls out after he beats Tank. I don't think he's going to beat Tank, but if he does, I'm just curious to see his next few moves, man. Because you know, Roley in his mind, he already thinks he's a megastar. So it's going to be an entertaining fight, man. I just wish they had this fight, though, still in uh, uh in Baltimore. I don't know why they're doing it in New York. I feel like the energy would be way higher in Baltimore than, than in New York. But 
whatever. Nonetheless, man, you know, tank, feed the streets, wherever you got to go, man. Just do it. All right, Dollar Bill. Um, shout outs to Roly. Roly talked his way into pay per view. When I was saying this is a victory, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what, bro? That's what I wanted to hit. When I when I when I found out that he, he got the fight and, and he got the pay per view, I was I was happy. I said Roly made it. Roly was went from getting no bread, having to pay fighters half his bread, so he could be able to get fights. And now he talked his way to being in the spotlight. You know, from not being able to be like like Anthony Yard. We was talking about Anthony Yard. Had to go that same road. He didn't come up in that amateur program. He came into boxing late with nothing. Just power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like and, getting selected for the Olympics. No. Man, none of that. You know, he came in the sport late and just used the anger, fuel from his childhood and the things that he went through to get here. You know? So I thought that that was commendable. And not only that, while I was thinking, I was like, you know what? He made it. Finally be able to get some real money. Then I thought about it now. Floyd hasn't been paying nobody. <laughs> <laughs> For poor Roley, man. And then I was hearing things from other uh, uh, TMT fighters that Roley wasn't given the proper sparring that he deserves. He wasn't getting the proper money and stuff for camp that he needed. He, people were saying that. Um, shout out to Hitchison. He actually put that out there when he was talking to, to each other on a lot. And it had me concerning. I was like, oh, wow, really? Is this really what's going on over there? And then I look at it. This is going to be a good fight. It's going to be exciting while it lasted. I don't think it goes past six rounds. Both guys have a 92% KO ratio. Um, looking at uh, Tank's record, Tank got 26 wins with 24 KOs. Roley has... 14 with 12. And that's right there where it lies with my decision on who I'm picking. The guy with more experience, the guy with more skills, who was able to learn, and in, in, and that's Javante Tate Davis. Right there, and those records show a lot. I think the best person on on um uh on Roley's record is the guy who got the um the win from um, Hank Lundy, it was Sparrow. He beat Sparrow, who beat Hank Lundy. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's the best fighter that he got on this record. But Roly shows a lot of heart. And the fact of the matter that everybody's going against him and he still has confidence in himself, not worried about what anybody else is saying. I'm sure Roly goes on the internet and all he hears is people talking about how he sucks and how he's going to get beat and nobody is picking him to win. And for him to still have that belief in himself, I got to commend him for it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Roley because you made it. You did what a lot of fighters who have been fighting longer than 14 fights can't do. And that's make it to pay-per-view, you know? So I salute you, Roley. Um, and this fights for you. After this, you know, there's everybody lining up to fight you now from Shakur talk about stepping up, moving up after this fight to Hitchison talking about you moving up to 140 to fight. The people's excited to see you because you know you're going to talk your crap and you're going to make it exciting. I can't wait to see this fight, but I am picking Tank for the experience and I feel like Roley might get caught and that's what I'm going with. <clears throat> so I know conventional wisdom. I know the odds. Tank's a heavy favorite. I know all those things. But something in me just ain't riding with it. Oh. Like, my, oh. man, my man Roly pointed out, he said, Javante Tank Davis be getting lip fillers. <laughs> That's what he said. Roly said he be getting lip fillers. Now, it was funny. I didn't know Javante Tank Davis doesn't get lip fillers, but after he said that about Javante, I saw a shot of Javante Davis with nail polish. Javante Davis had nail polish on. Hey, man. What that got to do with the fight, yo? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot to do with I like my boxers not wearing nail polish, for one. <laughs> And yeah, Trill, you, Trill, you pointed out that 
knockout ratio, but in Javante's last fight, he didn't get a knockout. And then, and when he fought the uh, Aztec warrior, when he fought Barrios, he got a stoppage real late that he needed. But Barrios was giving him that work. And I'm looking at Tank, and I'm like, you know, Tank has kind of become diva-ish. You take out the lip fillers and the nail polish, <laughs> but we think nail polish is real, bro. I saw it. I saw the nail polish on the all access, bro. He's real zesty. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's real he's zesty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like no, that was he's he was just, showing his support to Thugger. <laughs> free thugger. That's all that meant. Free thugger. Yeah, yeah, say free yeah, thugger. Yeah. It had yo. It had a crown on the nail polish. Which I was saying is that queen or king? You know what I mean? I don't know, but I'm I'm just leave that alone. What is he? He's in Atlanta. That's a style in Atlanta. Leave that alone. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> to each their own, right? But here's what here's what I'm saying to you. Like Tank. Yeah, he's a good fighter. He's the favorite. He's destined to win. But every now and then, boxing will do something to you. Vernon Forrest should have never lost to Ricardo Mayorga. But he did. But he did. This is Vernon Forrest who had Shane Mosley's number. <laughs> he shouldn't have lost to Sergio Mora. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's a, this is this is the way things happen sometimes in boxing. Now I'm gonna tell you like this. I know in my heart the odds are with Tank. I know the skills with Tank. I know everything's with Tank, but I don't care. I'm not gonna pick Tank because I'm not rooting for Tank. <laughs> I'm rooting for Roly. I want Roly to win this fight. Because to me, Roley's more entertaining. Yeah. Roley make me laugh more. Yeah. And Tank, Tank. I want Roley to win, but this is a prediction. <laughs> yeah. okay. hey, I was like, whatever, man. My stats are so bad. Do what you're doing, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, said, I, I, I have the leeway to do this right now. You know what I'm I have the leeway to do this right now. Gee, I got, I got, I got enough predictions under my belt. Let, let me tell you this right now. Okay. There are a few underrated fighters in boxing right now chris lovejoy <laughs> and roly freaking romero i'm telling you right now i'm, I'm, being, I'm, I'm being real with you though <clears throat> i'm gonna pick roly on this one and the reason why i'm gonna pick roly is because of tank all <laughs> jokes aside i'm picking roly because of tank tank's the reason why i'm picking roly I thought Roley was fooled. I was with G with the microwave hot pockets. Remember all that. I was laughing with G. I was up there joking. I'm like, yeah, and I'm going to get me some too. But Tank's reaction. Yeah. Like, Floyd's trying to make me lose by making you fight Roley? <laughs> and then I saw him panic on a um, million dollars worth of game when they said, he said he has all of them. He's like, he asked for Lomachenko. I know you win. He asked for Lomachenko. He asked for Devin Haney. He asked for Ryan Garcia. Yeah, yeah. He said, how many times did, did he said to tell you? To be honest, you know this, you know this. I ain't never asked for him. Yo, this is the other reason why I'm like, yo, this dude is, yo. They said Tank is in the, 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 the most uh excruciating the the most intense training camp he's ever been in said he didn't want any distractions he didn't want an entourage he wanted to focus solely on this fight and i'm like what is it about roley that's got this guy so worked up now if roley's in his head i gotta go off of that do i think tank's the better fighter yes i do do i think tank should win Yes, he should. But there's something about Roley that works Tank up. There's something about Roley that has him nervous. And Roley said he wobbled Tank in sparring and made him quit. He said he see Tank get hurt in sparring and quit. He said there's a video of Tank walking out of the ring in the amateurs. Some, some people just got your number. 
And the way that Tank is acting is really making me think that Roley might have his number. So I'm going to just put it to you like this. I'm going to pick Roley. If Roley loses, oh, well. It was, it was just, it was just, I'm being real. If he loses, oh, well, it just, it, hey, he just, 14 fights on pay-per-view. 14, that's what people are not realizing. Yeah, look, that's a good And this look. is right up, this is right up Tank's alley. You know, he likes going after the secondary titles. Roley got the WBA secondary title. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is right up Tank's alley. So look, I'm 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 impressed. I'm happy that Roley even made it this far. Hopefully Floyd pays him. <laughs> but before all that, <laughs> Roley's, in his, Ro, Roley's in his 14th fight, was 15th fight on pay-per-view. It is what it is. If he loses, it is what it is. But I'm watching Roley and I'm watching Tank, and I'm just like, yo. If I had to, like, this is like a March Madness pick. You know, like March Madness, you want to predict the upsets, like your bracket intact type of pick. This is a March Madness type of pick. I think that this this may be one of those fights where the gym wars, the arguments, your opponent just has your number. So I'm excited about it. So I, I think Roley may have Tank's number, and I think we all may be surprised at Roley wins, but if Tank wins, congratulations! You were supposed to win anyway. <laughs> you know it's you know funny. Normally, I'd be like, "Let's make a bet," but I'm like, "Yeah, Kane kind of got a point." You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you know, I, you know, gee, you know, I was low on Roley. You yeah. know, I was low on Roley. <laughs> you know, it was funny. You know, it was Tank's reaction that even had me a little nervous. I'm like, "Yo, man, get this dude like." Like, what are we talking about? Roley, he's he's really like, strong. He's strong. But I'm going to give a salute to Trill. Trill was the only one out of all of us, including Ned, who used to always talk about Roley. Like, yeah, but I like Roley. We should be like, forget Roley. He's <laughs> an idiot. Whatever. It wasn't until Tank, like, was acting so scared of Roley that I was like, what the hell am I watching right now? Like, yeah. So once Roley said, yo. Your arms the size of my wee wee, son. <laughs> that whole reaction switched up on me. I was like, "Yo, what's going on here? Does does Roley really got this dude's number, son? I don't know. You know what I mean? But I just can't believe a guy with two left feet is gonna violate Tank. You know I what else G got me? At the press conference, Tank seemed like so like he was barking like a dog that was scared. Like he didn't seem like a confident guy. He seems barking like a dog that was scared to me. I'm like. What the hell? Like, it's going on with Tank. My so, if I'm wrong, high. it's because of Tank. And my man was wearing high heel sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Them soles were thick. You know what I'm saying? They were going to the amusement park. You know, Tank can't get on those rides. <laughs> those extra, those extra inches to get on the ride. <laughs> now, six flags be doing, brother. <laughs> Yo, y'all let us know how y'all feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros. <laughs>